What is the latest Ripple update that will change the course of the trial? How exactly will it affect the court decision? How much will extra cost after these events? Write your answers in the comments, but for now, we're getting started. X, attorney and Evernote Extrapool co-founder Scott Chamberlain believes that the recent verdict did not benefit either the SEC or the XRP community. Chamberlain made those remarks after Judge Awilisa Torres issued a ruling that granted and denied portions of both sides' requests. Ripple and the SEC need need expert testimony to back up their assertions and proof about XRP. Although the court granted some of the sexes in the XRP community's requests, he also denied others. So it seems that neither side has benefited from the ruling. The decision was notable in that the key expert witness, Patrick Duty, was disqualified from testifying. They were hired by the sex to look into investor sentiment about RSRP. A further negative consequence of the Dalbert issues was that the sex lawyers tried to have Judge Torres disqualify John E. Deaton, an attorney representing the ITRP community, from participating in the litigation in part because Deaton had released the identity of the sex expert witness. The judge did not rule against Deaton, but he did agree with his argument that duty should not be called to testify on behalf of XRP holders. Jeremy Hogan, an attorney representing the XRP community, shared these sentiments, noting that the sex must show that investors had a responsible expectation of gains from Ripple's efforts and that this is where duty comes in. Although the judge sided with SEC on the issue of expert witness, number three, which Ripple had argued was irrelevant and unreasonably prejudicial, Hogan argues that Expert 3's opinion as to Ripple's incentives and actions to influence XR price is relevant to the issue of reasonable expectation of profits. But that's weak sauce, he says, suggesting it won't be of much assistance in the case. His thoughts on why Judge Annalisa Torres could have rejected the sex's objections to Ripple's expert testimony on the non-security status of XRP yesterday. Whether or if Ripple officials were careless in not knowing that XRP was a security was a topic of discussion, he said, and their testimony shed light on that question. To convict the executives of aiding and abetting the sale of an unregistered securities, the sex must establish that they did, as previously mentioned by the attorney. The attorney said the agency had bound itself with an undue burden by refusing to recognize XRP as a non-security despite repeated recognition of this fact by other government agencies and public declarations from the SEC. According to Deaton, the regulator may have taken this action to either compel a settlement or weaken Ripple's position in the emerging market. The regulator, however, will most likely lose on this point, in his opinions. The price of excerpt skyrocketed today as investors gained optimism that the Ripple v. Sex litigation would most likely be resolved within the next few weeks. This indicates that we may finally be able to see an end to the legal stalemate we've been in. The most essential thing to note is that it seems as if Ripple's prospects of winning the lawsuit are increasing with each passing day. The long-running issue that Ripple has been having with the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, of the United States might be resolved within the next few weeks. This upbeat outlook is a direct result of U.S. District Judge Annalisa Torres's decision, which came after great anticipation to rule on the party's applications to exclude expert evidence from the pending action. The XRP Army greeted the decision with cheers and applause once it was announced. On Twitter, a devoted user of XRP who goes by the online alias Learshit made the insightful observation that a tight victory for Ripple on the basis of strictly mathematical calculations Almost 246,000 people are following John E. Deaton on Twitter, where he shared the specifics of the judgment with them. Deaton is the creator of the legal news source CryptoLaw and represents clients who own Uxerpi. In response to his message, a user on Twitter posed the question of whether the most recent event may perhaps provide light on the amount of time that remains until we get the summary decision. With a cheery sense of optimism, Deaton made the following observation. I sincerely doubt that we will see a major delay from here. That may happen today, or it might happen in a few of weeks. The Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, filed a complaint against Ripple in December 2020, alleging that the company unlawfully marketed unregistered securities totaling 
3 cents billion worth of its XRP coin. From its inception, the blockchain payment startup with headquarters in San Francisco has vigorously refuted the notion, maintaining that XRP does not qualify as an investment contract according to the famed How I Test. Ripple's position in this legal dispute seems to be strengthening as a result of recent favorable events in the judicial system. But, in the event that the sex were to emerge victorious in this lawsuit, there would be a highly unfavorable legal precedent for the whole of the cryptocurrency industry. For this reason, investors, developers, and stockholders alike have been watching the case intently over the last two years. Fred Rispoli, an attorney, agrees with Deaton's viewpoint. Rispoli expressed his belief that the most recent decision rendered by Judge Torres is evidence that a summary judgment is very, very near. He claims that it is possible for the judgment to be delivered as soon as this month. Rispoli summed up the situation by saying, So, summary judgment is either going to come out anytime or J. Torres is going to drop this one first to entice the parties into settlement. And Deaton claims that he does not anticipate any lengthy delays from Judge Torres in her determination on summary judgment applications. John E. Deaton an attorney has expressed confidence that Ripple would ultimately prevail in its fight against the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. Today, in response to a tweet asking if the revelation of the judge's ruling on Dalbert petitions provides any insights on the time frame for her summary judgment decision, the creator of CryptoLaw, who represents thousands of XRP investors as a friend of the case, made this known. Deaton doubted there would be major holdups. As the lawyer pointed out, the judge's decision may come tonight or in a few weeks. According to today's reporting, the judge partially allowed and partially refused applications from both sides to strike out expert evidence in her Daubert motion finding. Judge Torres's rejection of the sex reliance on the aforementioned expert views in support of its arguments that XRP holders acquired the token with reasonable expectations of gains entirely from Ripple's efforts is knotted in the report as a major victory for XRP holders. The attorney said last week that the verdict on whether XRP is a security might take up to two more months, so stay tuned. Stuart Alderodi, the general counsel at Ripple, recently underlined that one of three possible outcomes might occur in this case. The judge, hearing this lawsuit, may rule in favor of the SEC, Ripple, or neither party. Deaton has said that he hopes the case would end with the court providing clarity on whether or not the secondary market transactions of XRP, which the SEC also contends represent unregistered securities offerings, are lawful. Even if Ripple loses in the district court, Excerpt holders would still have won a major win if the judge rules against the sex's position on this.